All right, here's the scoop for Wednesday. What is this, Wednesday? Uh, yeah, these guys were out in force today by guys. They use that term to describe both genders, just guys meaning gang stalkers. They were out today. I mean, and it's like what I was saying. They went back. It coincides with with uh, what happened last night with uh, the president coming on TV. I don't. I. It, it's hard for me to put this in words. Is you just have to see it and to see what they talk about to each other in person when they're doing their street theater, like this guy with the tight pants on and getting in the, you know, the the flavor fad. You know, like we used to say, flavor of the month. Whatever the fad is for people don't know what flavor, but everybody nowadays, hip hop is so mainstream. You know the flavor of the month, and some of y'all are gonna go, "That's not hip hop." We've been saying that, but anyway, flavor of the month um, is we the people, not we the people like literally in a in a sense historical democracy since like way back to the Greece. But they're going to argue with me anyway because I kept calling them stupid. And, you know, that's also the flavor right now. Uh, they're not stupid. You know, yada, yada, yada. So basically they have to prove they're not stupid in every argument. Um, it turns into something where they prove it. Uh, like, ha, see there? And it's like a total stranger will, you know, say something that gives you the impression that y'all have previously had a altercation where you called them stupid and that's what i'm saying you you may think i'm reaching but no it's a total stranger and uh, i never called I, I never met you before argued with you before normally i don't argue with strangers but so you automatically go to the stupid thing and what is the reason for that because of the videos i've been posting calling them stupid and like I said, during those videos, as stupid people do, they have to come they have to petty, tit for tat. Now, in real life, you can say, well, you probably done that, too. Even y'all, I always go back to, what is this, grade school? You did that in grade school. No, I didn't. I really didn't. I can't say I always won. Maybe that would be stretching true. I can't say I always won, but it's a good chance I normally won. So I didn't have to go back and be petty, or if it did, it, it was, you know, by the time 86, hey, whatever, rolled around, it's like, so fucking what, you know, whatever, you know. It's, um, so, and these motherfuckers, like I keep going back to what's really fucked these motherfuckers up, is the mainstreamness of hip-hop. You could think it fucked people up like us who listen to it forever you know since and every this is something you know you know how it goes just like with anything that's certain uh all of a sudden the flavor well it's not all of a sudden but this flavor is everybody is an expert everybody ain't that that's the one of the things like you see you like that dad who just got the guy who just got out the car i don't know him i guess he lives here or maybe he visiting somebody maybe one of his hoes or something i don't know maybe he's visiting abroad i don't know i don't know these people i've been here almost two years but i really don't know some of them are new because of the cars i think you know but so you know he he's dressed more like this new style i was around a video but anyway you, you'll see it you know the uh, whatever and it, it it been the the gangster rap been died but it because it became mainstream and it wasn't just mainstream you could tell actually this is part of the i know i'm going to sound like a total lunatic theorist conspiracy theorist but it's really so plain to see. Because think of all the words that are so mainstream now. Snitch. Everybody uses it. Oh, you see little kids in, in suburban area. Oh, you snitched the mom and dad. <laughs> words that only that really meant uh, big town criminals use it. I, I say big town words like uh, what I mean when big time. It sounds like somebody who's... Uh, doesn't know anything, you know, because, oh, he's, he's a big time. No, but no, you don't understand the type of dialect. That's why it's like they're also mad about 
um, you know, the words I use to describe them, but, so you got people, and what's happening is because of, I know y'all gonna hate that, that the, if anybody hears this who isn't part of either side, either one of us or either one of them, the perps, the stalkers, if you're not one of the stalkers and you happen to hear this, because I, I really don't expect nobody who isn't involved in one way or the other to hear what I'm saying. Um, But just in case, in the off chance that it does, um, where I was going with this, uh, the... What's going on is you got people now in in, in this year of 2019, you got people who come from people, they they felt like my generation, I would say, basically my generation, especially the women, they all either they got a brother, or the relative friends they grew up with, they, the guy they was fucking years ago when they were teenagers so they still feel like they connected gangster wise too like back in 1990 when she was 16 you know the nigga she one of the niggas she was fucking was selling dope you know shit like that so they think they still know and they really didn't put in the work they ain't did no shit they just was you know fucking and it ain't just about the women it's about dudes they got cousins who was really close friends back then they was close friends with people who was just in it but this is saying ain't nobody left, but it's a reason there's nobody left. I see that now. This is what the program is about. So when you, especially when they don't know you, they think it, that we all the same because of movies, Tyler Perry movies. They think we're, everything is the same, and I laugh a lot, so they think it's a joke. But when I'm, I'm like, when I'm laughing, it really is time for you to go. And I'm not laughing like some some psychopath who laughs when they doing something evil. I'm not evil. I don't do nothing evil. I'm not bragging. I'm not evil. But that means you didn't fucking. I know it, it sounds like I'm trying to uh, transfer blame, but I'm not. I, I I can honestly say with a clear conscience and heart. If I'm to that point, trust me, I always look at both people's sides. Even if it's my own, even if it's me, I always look. Even if it look, even if it's gonna make it look like I back down. Nah, what I did was fucked up. You know, I always say that. I will, if that's the case. But if not, and if it gets to the point, <laughs> and I understand, I'm small in stature, but people who know me know, and I think they've been realized that now. It's, it's how it's like. They tried at first when I moved to this new city forty five years ago. It, it was I, I, I understood. That's, that's exactly that's why I'm still here. And it wasn't like I understood them back then. I understood where they was coming from. They didn't know me. They just saw me walking, riding the bus, or whatever I was doing, trying to get to know the city. And that, from that gang stalking thing, not just from what they lied. You know the other uh, ti tell. You know they're like tell the truth about that they lied on you got that yeah i can gather we all have it's not a sixth sense you don't have to be uh intuitive or a psychology major major to catch people's mannerisms when people you know you're in line and people are purposely you know just getting you know challenging you stepping up close to you whether they big or whatever you catch on to that and like i said at that time when i first got i didn't know well, I had been going through it for over 10 years, but I didn't know. But it, because of my race and all this, way before all these shootings, police shootings, you know, anybody who's been in it knows, you know, you have a certain way. You just don't do those things. That's why I don't mean to do that. That's what we always do. And you ain't backing down. And one ain't about coming home alive like they say now because these young kids begin shot when these police situations. I don't know what what this whole thing is about i still think it's all connected you can call me whatever paranoid uh i'm not paranoid um and anybody who knows you know it's just 
ways and it's like you're not you, you don't have to be all oh, yes uh, kissing ass but at the same time you when, when, you know you you feel small like all right whatever man you can go ahead yeah you know they ask you the questions you got anything sharp in your pocket yeah, nah, go ahead man reach in there and get it and you're not joking you're not being sarcastic like reach in there and get it you know nah, that my my wallet and my you get it and this is before all these shootings, way back in 2000, whatever the fuck, 2002. Hey, man, it's in my right my right rear pocket. You reach in and get my wallet. But um, but I, I didn't got off track, sidetrack. What the hell was I talking about uh, today? Oh, it, it, it's 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 been it's been apparent, but they reminded me again about the phoniness. The phoniness, the the that's was more more terrifying. The phoniness, because the phoniness that they use obviously is a ploy that will garner sympathy for them, and it's not about. And they know it. They fucking know it. It's it, it's about you know. Uh, I will say this fucking game. I didn't even take notice. Of uh, this college championship, not because I'm not uh, whatever a fan or whatever. I don't like saying that word. Um, but you know, it's always January six. You know, yeah, they all not always January six, but you know, um, but because of, you know this, not because I felt you know isolated. No, because of this, I'm not concentrating. It's like, well, you might have been doing that. No, nah, you know, I wasn't concentrating on football. But today, long story short, uh, you can say whatever. And it doesn't mean I'm thinking, oh, me, I'm some kind of big, big part of this cog. What I'm saying is this is a big fucking deal. This is, this is, they put on a little bitty show for me, and, and it's just for me, like, they put on, but think about it, that's just, see, the what, literally the feats, what, what tells you how stupid these people are, what defeats them is, if, if you understand anything about funding, it's like, no, it isn't that hard to believe, so you're like, they, there was like four or five people there today put on the show yeah because if they don't it's not needed the program is not needed it doesn't justify the fucking money they need the fucking just like when you're at your job and there ain't shit to do you might start bullshitting with you it's busy work it's called busy work so yeah just little old me to it might to a person who doesn't know since i know the program and i could think of all type and i when i say all types of shit it sounds like i'm reaching but actually it's the basic <laughs> justify funding for this bullshit, you know. So that's why, you know, them. And who knows how much they, these four people, whatever, got paid, or and it ties into this. But that's so big. This that national championship game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it, 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 okay. Or the only other thing I think of is that they're so the. People up top in this program that they work for are so clever that you know they made up that in two days they made it a little and it's probably actually isn't that hard really maybe you know to make me think it's so big still I sound paranoid and crazy but it might be the latter what I said last that <laughs> it just hit me that uh and it is, really isn't even that clever it's like, Probably the high school English class major, writer, creator, writing. Probably middle school creator could write this shit. You know, seriously. Eighth grade creative writing class. Um, and, but, okay, but you get, yeah, they're grown ups. But think about it. Just because they're grown, just because they have a little bit of money. First of all, that's the whole point that I'm saying. There is no reason for all this. The reason I say I, I didn't get to what I'm talking about, what I'm saying about the real phoniness today was they're doing the. Uh, I got two points I want to point out that I've been thinking for years. The reason, oh, always the reason when I go back, if you watched any of my other videos, 
how I say it doesn't count for me on my soul or conscience dogging these people out, calling them stupid, calling them broke, because I know the whole thing is fake. So what I mean by that, and today how it ties and say you walk by a person, I guess it got to be downtown because really there's no homeless people in rural areas. And you just walk over him. He has a sign, a cup, and maybe he's coughing. He looks ragged. Point is, you know the whole thing is set up like that show. What would you do with on a CNBC or the, you know, even though it's a, the hidden camera show? Somehow you you just peep it out. You maybe you you peep them out setting up beforehand, and they didn't see you. You were sitting across the street inside a building, and you see, oh, this shit is. Uh, uh, a test, you know, not even a test because it ain't a fucking test. You don't test people. That's bullshit. That's what I hate. You don't fucking test me. It's uh, you gonna lose every fucking time you try to test me. That's what I'm saying, and that's that's not me being a tough guy. Chip on my shoulder. It's be come straight like I do. Come straight. Say what you mean. Say what you need. Don't fucking test me. Play with people. It's bullshit. You're a psychopath. You psychotic little bitch. You don't fucking test people. Say what you fucking mean like a man or a woman. You grown up. Say what's on your mind. You you and it, you know and you know it's so basically with this gang stalking shit, you know that it's when like I in the other videos where the girls walk, they probably are homeless for real, but that's why I call them even dumber. You're a fucking criminal. And I ain't even talking about the other shit. I'm talking about being in a gang stalking program and the connections you have to these people in deep government and you're still fucking homeless i don't think it really was the whole thing was i think they really was set up but i also think they were genuine homeless people and it's like so maybe you the only thing you can say well but when i tried to crack her about it you know i cracked her like hey this is part of the pro-. she she went into the what are you talking about do you need you know yeah she didn't say you need help but she watched the videos you know she went into a spiel so okay i can't do nothing for you 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 and, and that was a couple of months ago you're still in your situation and it's not me rubbing it in but why don't y'all get together and you know, just come out and and confess. These motherfuckers, everybody would be easy on you because y'all are the lower totem poles, the peons getting shitted on, the foot soldiers. But y'all don't have the benefits of real foot soldiers. Y'all are just some motherfuckers on the streets. Y'all didn't y'all didn't sign no legal kind. Y'all signed the contract. I think they say y'all signed a non disclosure contract. But that's why I call you stupid. Like I'm saying, so if I know, say I see somebody laying right there, I come out one day to make one of my um the recordings, and it's somebody, you know. So obviously, I'm a, I'm a no. Okay, they know I come out here all the time, and they got somebody laying there, so I don't help them. They might help them. You know how all of us, a lot of us. I even got that catch. Them on tape, I think I did. The fire department, they might have a whole fire department EMTs show up. We know they got uh police, uh, the local uh first responders on deck for the program. As I told you about the time on my other videos, you know, the one of the alarms went off here, and whoa, I know what happened. Um, like I said, just like with any other entry exit, look up on somebody else's video or whatever. As soon as I got home, entry, I would think, they pull in, and it's like two trucks, and the chief happened to be here. How I know he was the chief, because, you know, I said I started re- trying to record, and eventually I got out, and, and they're coming down, I stopped one of them. And he turned out to be, uh, well, not the chief of the whole city, but, you know, with a battalion or however it works, the local house, firehouse is up the street. And I said, well, what happened? He said, well, oh, the, the smoke detector, you know, the, you know, it's connected, you know, it went off and, you know, it, it was nothing. Because they was only here like three, four minutes, you know. But it was two fire trucks, and that's what the uh, other video I was talking about. Uh, I think I did record, or either make a tape about it, because, uh, Somebody comment, oh, you're just, you got the idea, 
So anyway, my point, if you can catch what I'm saying. Um, so I come out here, I see somebody doing laying on the ground, and I don't do it because I know who they are. So the, the ambulance comes, they do the whole show with street theater, and it's like, oh, I'm supposed to be a bad person. But no, it's because I know you're not really. But if they were hurt, obviously I would, I couldn't. Uh, I have to err on the side of caution, no matter what. So you always err on the side of caution. I would have to help them. But as far as the other shit, you know, when I see, other, well, can you give me a dollar? Can you help? Yada, yada, yada. Why well, I bring that up today because um, as I'm making some purchases, like I said, I've been said they do this every time to me. That's why I call it ironic. And that's why I rub it in because the whole program was is designed. All of us on the program and watch other people's take some videos. And I got some articles I read in national uh but anyway if um i go look them up find them how these motherfuckers talk like they're doing some good all right so if that's the real truth about this bullshit um i didn't have money when y'all first put me on the program that's why i said the irony and like i said i have proof well i won't say first but i've been on it i i can say you know it's even us on the program, we got the attitude, well, not me, but other people got the attitude where, oh, you just saw this on, you just jumping on. Like I said, the reason I always point out the fact that I even have my benefits is because it's not the only fact. I had other issues, real issues, and this, well, no, nah, this isn't a real issue, but these fucking idiots, and I got proof that i don't have to disclose because of anybody's privacy <laughs> you know this is regular privacy law you know it's, they send me their decision that was their decision they tell you why you know years of this was years of fucking go over a decade ago they sent me their decision and tells me why they decided in my i guess you call it my favor you stupid fucks because of you stupid idiots it boils that it is that's not what they wrote but in my learned opinion, because of you fucking fools, like what you're doing right now, and me thinking, oh shit, I'm, something must be wrong with me. I kept going back, and, and you, it's not like I was going back. They don't, they don't make it like, oh, I was wrong for that. They, they they're careful. Oh, not them, cause they too stupid. Not the people you see like this motherfucker. The people in charge, they got them in check. They do have these people in check. That's why I'm allowed to talk like this. That's why I can. It's not just because well, I think it's a combination because they know me. They these people are just getting to know me. But the people in charge that have been watching me for years, they know me. But I mean, it, it could. I still think it would be easy for them to do, you know, whatever nefarious shit. But my point is, um, they no. Uh, The point is, they, they, they like to earlier today, just been run one that earlier. It was like a, a a minute ago, not a minute ago, about an hour ago. Um, don't worry about. It. I can always beat them. They can't. That's they. That's probably one of the main reason is because of I think too fast. Seriously, it is why I say it makes more sense to believe. Think about how long we've had electricity. Okay, you can say, what is that even, blah, blah, blah. And, and I know that from, since I'm bringing this up, I'll be, I'll be hit up. And I don't mean literally, but hit up figuratively, uh, either in one of my comments, somebody's going to say something about electricity, brain waves, electrodes, that if any of you had a heart attack, they put it on your heart. They can, mount that, and what I mean by that, old fashioned. It's been over a hundred years they can do well whatever many years they can monitor that we don't know how far they get way before any of what most of us were born see what i'm saying all we get. so think about that you know the the study of electricity and another thing anybody who ever had a real seizure and you happen to feel it that you felt it and if you haven't also have been shocked before if you had both, they feel the fucking same. 
if you ever fucked around and got shot from an electric socket, a TV, a short circuit, a seizure. So what I'm saying is, it, it's really not as far-fetched the things that they're capable of just for you to fucking believe. Anybody who isn't part of the program, anybody's part, they... Or either they just don't care. So anyway, my point again, they they go back into the like I don't care. Like I, oh, I think one of these niggas really had the nerve. You know, they were talking on the phone. The, oh, really? There's people. I think he was saying like there's people suffering, and you're in here shopping. You know, I, if I could, I think I'll admit it, and you get this will be on this will be on a public fucking whatever channel. If I could, I would have killed that motherfucker right then and there. Um, for that stupid shit, the bitch, shit, because he's a fuck, he was a fucking bitch. That is some fucking whole shit. You know this, this, this is not what y'all doing this shit for. Don't fucking lie to me or everybody else. And try to make it. That's what really gets me pissed off. Like you, you some fucking good people. Like really, there's people suffering. You in here? I mean, niggas, you sound so. Ooh. But yeah, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna post this. It'll be like so something happened, and then I go to whatever for days, weeks from now. You y'all can fucking look at this. See, he said it just like a couple of, you know. Oh, it was a sign that he was, you know, this this is your it it y'all. That'll be your victory. It fucking worked. Yeah, so now y'all know what really pushes my buttons when you come in with that whole shit. And it's like, what did have you done? What did you try to do besides being in this stupid fuck? Somebody lied to you and you think it just basically it, it's because it looks cool. Maybe you get pussy from being. I think that's also a big thing because a lot of them, you know, they were young, in their 20s, buying weed. Oh, well, not weed, buying the cigars because we're in the store. But they buying the cigars, you know. And you know, anyway, to a man's heart is not not his stomach. But if you got a program or army, uh, especially if it's illegal, pussy. So, and and, and you got the hoes he fucking. They it, it got to be they fucking. Um, they got the hoes they fucking. And like I said, it makes it sound like I'm mad, but no, what? Not about that. I could care less if you would fucking get off of my dick. You ain't got to run and be in the store. Just run and beat me to the the front of the line. You, you know, you in a car trying to cut me off. You ain't got to do all that shit, nigga, to get some pussy. That's what you got to fucking do. Yeah, damn. You putting all that effort in. You could have got a regular fucking job and probably been C fucking O. Shit. I mean, these are the type of niggas that remember, and it's starting to get uh, come back to me now all together. Remember when I said the shit about uh, the music we listened to back in the 89, 90, 91? That's what it was talking about. We weren't just talking about killing niggas for black on black crime. No, we killing the fucking fuck niggas. Since y'all killed the music, for some reason, I don't know that the, the whoever is part of the government wanted to proliferate these types of niggas. And now they these are their offspring. Like I said, they're only in their tw- early 20s that I've seen today. And they think they're doing the right thing. But you could, like I said, they don't even have the, the, the intelligence. They got the size and whatever. But they ain't got the intelligence. I remember in my generation, we was, you 20s, you know, you thought about shit like that. No, no. no. All that is, it, you would have known, cause somebody would have called one of your homeboys. I would, you know, I've plenty of times somebody talk about somebody else. Why are they doing it? Why? Are they, hey, man, that's they fucking money. I, you know, I cut them off right there. That's they money, and I'm not saying it's just by any. I literally done it. You know, they get them all dressed up. Look at that girl. Why she got all? Man, that's they. Why you hating? That's they shit. And this was years ago, before the internet, not before it existed, but before it became popular in more you know whatever in the mid early 90s it was when i would say you know ben ben noticed shit like that so you try to oh uh, yeah i'm better than y'all you know yeah y'all some pieces of shit really i, I can't believe how, how y'all fell for and still are falling for this petty ass hateful ass shit pieces of fucking shit I mean, really, like somebody wiped their ass with y'all. I mean, this whole fucking generation. This. 
I mean, just, just anything, anybody, uh, and they, and they really was able to brainwash y'all with that. I mean, I hate using the word brainwash because that sounds more conspiracy theorist, not more scientific or um, just hateful ass shit. And, and it's like all that energy, time and energy you putting into following somebody else, you could have been putting into bettering yourself. I know it sound now, I'm, I'm trying to sound like one of the motivational, you know, you could have bettered yourself and blah, blah, but you really could have, man. Nigga, so the real shit, that's when we bit peep that out. That that's the real shit. Yeah, fuck, fuck what he doing. I am I am better. And it, it, then what they notice that's that's what we a lot of us are was saying, if still alive. They caught on to that. We caught on to like, wait a minute, yeah, we could be Okay, well how do we kinda wreck that? Make it look like they're selfish. They're, they don't care about you. They're just bettering themselves because they're, no, bitch, because I'm not spending my time and energy hating on you. I'm letting you do you. You remember that phrase that we made? Well, they ain't say we made it up, but it became popular in the early night. You do you. I do me. You know what I'm saying? All right, man, shit. You ain't fucking with me, but not y'all. Y'all got to just run and beat. I mean, what? You can't feel like an adult doing shit that y'all do. You can't feel. Like there's no way possible on God's green earth you feel like a grown up and you sitting there I, I, I know I always make it it ain't just make it personally it's literally a fact you there because of me because I'm gonna be there or you want me to be there what type of shit is that I know I said it before and I keep saying it but I'm gonna keep saying it till I reach y'all stupid asses on a sad note not a sad note same note uh like uh, remember, uh, like I said, one of my other tapes. Um, I wouldn't myself. I'm not gonna go through it to find which one. Uh, let's point out how the new cars. And really, like I said, how I don't gloat. And remember, I got into it with uh Neil Powell or whatever. Well, I I won't say remember. One of the videos he made comments, but I see he he got into it with other people who make videos like this. Also, it's not just me. Uh, power, uh, whatever, talking about the cars, like the bitch. It's not about it's. I've been going, through, and I'm not making an excuse. I'm just saying it didn't matter. Another thing I don't understand about the stupidity is y'all know how many years over a decade that I've known. Okay, something was going on. So when I look back now, I'm like, shit, y'all didn't give a fuck when I was digging ditches, yada, yada, yada. And y'all still owe me. And I'm like, that's what really started me to go get help. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? With it? And it's like 2001. I'm making five out doing this shit and y'all doing whatever y'all do. This gang's the street theater. But fortunately, I, I was able and to go get, you know, whatever. So it's not about me having, as they try to make it like today, like me having money. 